Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well this month of February. So today I just wanted to have a little heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys. I think it's safe to say that we've all been exposed to diet culture in some form or another. If it's not your friends at school talking about how bad sugar is, then it's influencers telling you to eat super clean if you want to be quote healthy. Even though these things simply aren't true, too many of us have become hardwired to think like this. There is always that little voice in the back of our minds telling us to rethink having that donut or a slice of cake. It's the voice that tells us that if we really want to be accepted, we just need our bodies to look a certain way, which means we need to restrict exercise and follow the diet rules. I know these negative self-talk moments have happened to all of us, but we don't have to keep talking to ourselves this way. I know for me, I'm continually trying to rewire the way I think about food and exercise, but it's a constant struggle. Even when I was a kid, I remember hearing destructive diet culture comments either directed towards me or in everyday conversations with people, and this didn't come from my parents at all. It was just the world that you and I both live in. Sadly, the way the world thinks isn't going to be changing anytime soon, but we can choose to resist diet culture's lies. I'm so sorry you have to live in a world that cares too much about trivial things like our clothes, makeup, and size. That's never how it should be. Ooh, they look so good. Hope they're not too burned. Oh, yeah. Your worth isn't defined by your appearance. You can be the most fit, beautiful, and put-together person on the outside, but be so miserable, unkind, sad, and selfish on the inside. Hmm, this is so good. I'll let you guys try some. This sounds great in theory, but to me and a lot of others, the practical applications of this can be quite difficult. Some days we accept ourselves and other days we're beating ourselves up for missing a workout or failing to achieve a goal. I know that we've been trained to care so much about what others think of us, but the truth is that no one is you. You are your own unique person and you don't need to compare your body to hers because you aren't her. Honestly, most people probably don't care much about the things we obsess over in our own heads. They don't see what we notice about ourselves because we're our own worst critic. Just remember that you deserve to treat yourself with the same love that you show to others. In the past, I was fighting against myself in nearly every aspect of my life, telling myself that I had to like math and computer coding when obviously I didn't, telling myself I had to be smaller when maybe I was never supposed to be that size. But I realized that when I stopped fighting against the person I truly was, I could unleash my authentic self. I feel like so many girls nowadays feel pressured to hide who God made them to be just so they can fit in with the world. Many people, me included, feel pressure to wear makeup and dress a certain way for people to accept us. There's nothing wrong with these things, but our daily actions shouldn't be driven only by our hope for human acceptance. Too many of us feel like we're not good enough the way we are, so we feel like we need to constantly be changing ourselves. There's nothing wrong with change, but if it's coming from a place of self-hatred, that's not healthy. I used to think my issues with food and body image were just problems that no one understood and they were just stupid because they were just thoughts. But your feelings are valid and are worth discussing. Looking back, I see that my insecurities caused me to feel like I needed to be thinner. No matter your size, weight, or hair color, you are worthy and loved. You are enough and you don't have to do anything to deserve that. Self-acceptance takes time and that's okay. If you're not yet in a healthy place with your body and food, just know that I'm cheering you on because eventually you will get there. It just takes time, healing, and patience. So a few days ago, I went to my closet to try on my favorite summer dress, you know, in anticipation for summer, and the dress no longer fit. For a moment, I felt distressed, but after taking a few deep breaths, I realized that everything was going to be okay. I know in the past, I probably would have had a mental breakdown right then and there, but this time I didn't, and I was okay with the dress not fitting. Of course, a part of me missed my old body, and especially all the cute clothes that I once wore, but then I came to the realization that a 
lot of us are never content with the body we have. We always want something more. It's the whole the grass is greener on the other side of the fence situation. I know even last summer I wasn't content with my body, and now ironically I'm wishing for that same body. Sure, I felt disappointed about the dress, but it wasn't the end of my world this time. I wonder when we'll be able to stop equating smaller with better. All I can say is that at my lowest weight and size, I was the unhealthiest version of myself. I couldn't sleep well. I was cold and tired all the time, unfocused, food obsessed, and on top of that, I never let myself enjoy the food I wanted. Life was unnecessarily miserable. After sliding off the dress, I reminded myself of my amazing body that can carry me through life. It allows me to play beautiful music on the violin. It takes me through afternoon strolls. It gets me through sweaty workouts, and it allows me to learn in school. Our body deserves our respect for what it does for us, no matter what it looks like. When two married twins have babies who look like twins despite being cousins. I get it because the twins married another twin. Both of them married the same guy. So the genetics are really pretty much the same. That is creepy. Does that actually happen? And let me reiterate this for all of us. Your weight and size will fluctuate throughout your entire life. I know this sounds kind of scary to some of us, but I'm at the point now where the thought of going up a size doesn't terrify me nearly as much as it once did. And this is a huge win for me. It's seeing those small shifts in mindset over time that make me so grateful that I chose to strive towards true health. Remember that health isn't a size. It isn't body goals. Our bodies aren't meant to stay the same forever. We just have to let go of our desire to control everything. Oh, did you hear that? Growing, changing, losing, gaining, it's all part of this beautiful thing called life. When our time winds up, I bet it all on us. I know from so many comments and DMs that a lot of you are struggling in this area too. I guess the thing to remember is that the journey of recovery and self-love is lifelong. I want to show you through these videos how amazing and freeing this life can be when we aren't a slave to the scale or a certain diet plan. I still have my struggles, but no one's asking for perfection. Not even me. I just want to create a safe space where we can all support each other because we're in this together. We live in the same world and we're faced with similar challenges. I know for me at least, prayer and time with Jesus has been so helpful. It's so reassuring to know that I'm the daughter of a king, no matter what I look like. And Jesus loves you too, friend. Always remember that. So let's talk food. If you haven't noticed, your girl loves dessert. I'm talking ice cream, chocolate, chocolate covered nuts, and yeah, basically more ice cream and chocolate. Back when I was extremely restrictive, I never allowed myself dessert, but now it's something I enjoy every single night, sometimes multiple times a day or whenever I feel like it. It's small things like enjoying dessert with my family that make me truly proud of my shift in mindset around food. I can now look at peanut butter or ice cream without obsessing over its nutritional value, and you know peanut butter makes up a good portion of my diet. I also love vegetables, meat, potatoes, and other nutrient-dense foods, but not because they're quote healthy for me, but because I actually crave them, and they make my body feel amazing and energized. It's finding that balance between nutrient-dense foods and foods that might not be as nutrient-dense. It's crazy how much things can change for the better when you just let go and trust the body God gave you. I'm proud that I eat ice cream every night. Some people may criticize that, saying it's unhealthy, and that's their opinion. At the end of the day, you just need to be proud of where you're at with things and not worry about other people. Of course, you can choose to see food as just calories, but I see it as taste, enjoyment with loved ones, and just togetherness. Speaking of food, you've probably noticed by now my obsession with Bilt Bars. They literally taste like actual chocolate bars, real chocolate, and everything. It is the real deal. So chewy, chocolatey, and flavorful, and it's true, they are the best microwave. I love that each bar gives me 17 to 19 grams of protein, so it makes getting your protein in for the day super easy and tasty. Built Bar has tons of other permanent and limited edition flavors to choose from that are all so delicious. My favorite currently is the raspberry flavor. It's like chocolate covered raspberries. You can use my code ELSA for 10% off your Built Bar order. The link will be in the description box if you decide to treat yourself to these delicious protein bars. Trust me, you won't regret this.
So we all know that comparison is unhealthy. For me, I used to compare what I ate to what my friends ate. I would always eat more than every girl at the lunch table and almost always more than any guy I saw. I would judge myself because I thought that I didn't need this quote extra food. And it turns out that, surprise, everyone's normal amount of food is not the same. Anytime I was out with people, the girls seemed to barely touch their food while I would finish all mine and then come home for leftovers. And now, looking back, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But at the time, I was treated like I was bigger, and I felt that way too. I thought I didn't need any more food because I was already this big. Just because it was enough for them doesn't mean it was enough for me. I wish I would have known that back then. This is really earthy. So what if you eat more than other people? You know yourself best and your body knows if it's hungry. Your body is way smarter than you think, so never ignore that hunger. There are days that I choose to eat more just because, and you know what? It's completely fine. Overeating is just a part of life, and it doesn't mean that you failed. On the lawn, and your hand in down card. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one. Which one do you want? It's a nutty! Mmm, these are so red! My past self would have restricted even more the next day to make up for this overeating, but that just leads to a toxic binge restrict cycle. Aww, so sweet! Wait, what did you say? I saw your something change. Your status. Now if I overeat, and I do it sometimes, we just move on to the next day like nothing happened. Activity levels, stress, metabolism, all these things play into our food intake. One time of overeating isn't going to change your life forever. wasn't an option right after my eating disorder because my hunger and fullness hormones were completely messed up. I had no idea if I was hungry or full anymore. It took me almost a year to restore my feelings of hunger and fullness, but I'm so happy to say that I now eat intuitively and life is just so much better this way. I don't know if you can tell their hearts, but they're supposed to be hearts for Valentine's Day. Just remember that health and happiness are both possible, as much as wellness culture likes to say otherwise. Mm, it's not too eggy. To a lot of people, it's either munching on salads, boring chicken and raw vegetables, or indulging in burgers, fries, milkshakes, and pizza. The truth is that the healthiest lifestyle includes foods from both categories. The problem I ran into when I was younger is that I thought I needed to cut out dessert to be quote healthy. I had to stop eating fried foods. I had to always pick the quote healthiest option. I was so wrong. The beautiful thing about life is that balance is literally the key to everything. It's so easy, yet so many of us overlook this. What do you call those? Spider eggs. Are you serious? Where did you yeah. find them? Oh, they were in the snowboard. Ew! Oh, Look at that! Okay, go ahead. You can throw it away. Alright, let's go make some chocolate covered strawberries, this time homemade ones. Alright, this is what we're working with. Huge chocolate gems. These are so delicious, so I'm going to use these to coat the strawberries in. So let's get to making these chocolate covered strawberries. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes nuts that say I love you all the time. So, of course, we want to take care of the body God has given us on this earth, but 
we're also allowed to treat ourselves to delicious food. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing mentality, and there doesn't have to be any guilt associated with our food choices. I just want to remind you again that you are beautiful no matter your size because the Lord specially made you. Oh, look at this chocolate! It took me literally my whole life to truly believe that. My parents supported me by telling me that, but it wasn't until later that I truly believed it for myself. So take it from me. You were specially created by God and you're here for a reason. This is so heavy. Uh, what fit over here? It no, it doesn't fit. So don't let diet culture ruin this life that God's given you. The enemy uses any form of tactic to try to make us slip up and feel unworthy. Thank you. The finished product. Big one or small one? Small. Small. Okay, ready. Oh, so cold. My feet. <gasps> it's cold. Mmm. I like this better than the other one. No, it is higher quality chocolate. Again, mm. it pays off because we made them. This is the butt crack one. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it. Let me look. <laughs> the top. Oh, I love looking on the inside, and then you see the seed and mm -hmm. dense. Got nuts. Almonds that are dark chocolate. Got pecans that are dark chocolate. And the main box with all that good stuff. Whoa, how many pounds is this? 25 or 30 pounds. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that's good. Remind yourself every day that you are more than your physical body. You are brave, strong, and loved by God. So let's continue to defy diet culture. One day, one meal, one bite at a time.